Ahoy hoy, and welcome to Dank Memes from Site 19, where I look at dank memes from Site 19, which is a subreddit devoted to the best memes the SCP Foundation has to offer, or at least the ones they have to offer right now. And so I thought I would start today with, wait, there's something different. Ugh, these audio levels are so bad, but why? Why are they bad? Oh, I know. It's me! A bloated corpse! I've decided to start transitioning my content to more video-focused stuff because, well, first of all, I've got experience in front of a camera in the first place, even if I don't look like the kind of person that would normally be in front of a camera. And... <laughs> hey, man, it takes all kinds. Um, and at the same time, I think when you're doing, like, meme reactions, it'd be nice to see meme reactions when I'm doing a let's play of a game. It might be good to see what I'm doing at the time. And, uh, when I'm doing the You're Wrong About series, being able to look directly into the camera, stare into your soul, and explain how you're wrong is going to be so fulfilling. The only thing I don't think I would use it for are the readings. If I ever do readings or do the Versus series, which is essentially a tale reading of a tale I just wrote this morning, uh, <laughs> today we're doing a meme review for lack of a better term. <laughs> right now, I am certain that this setup will change. First of all, I've got a shotgun mic above the camera, which is supposed to connect, you know, just directional uh, audio. But uh, I think I'm probably gonna try and get a high quality lapel mic because it's a bit further away than I think it needs to be. And there's, and these are these walls echo. Uh, but I'm getting started with it. I'm gonna, it's gonna take a little, there's gonna be a few bumps along the way. The, Videos are not going to be as good as I'd like them to be at first, but we'll get better with it. I've um, got a lot less. I've got experience being in front of the camera. I've got experience with this type of video editing, but I, I'm not with a camera that's this good. <laughs> so, and I've got a little lighting setup. Um, I actually most of my old lighting setup is kind of uh, less good than I, less good. It's not as good as I'd like it to be. And uh, I, I tried a slightly warmer bulb color this time around just to see how that would work out. But uh, uh, enough about what we're doing. Let's actually get into the memes. The Foundation, when they think they have Old Gorman contained, but Tiffany pulls out some black magic bullcrap. <laughs> I get the feeling we're going to be doing a lot of megalomania memes today. And the Gears fundraiser, which is super important stuff. Um, I don't know if this is, is this just original art, or was this, is this a meme adapted from something else? Because I don't know for sure. I kind of, I don't know, I like it. I mean, it's really good art, is the important part for me, but... SCP, <laughs> DJ Cactus, you can't make a president in SCP. Who says that? <laughs> Every time I read something, it's like, well, so-and-so said you couldn't do X, and you did it anyway because you're... No, no one said that. Of course, he made uh, George Bush into a, an SCP, and he made Donald Trump now into an SCP, but let me tell you something else. I've made the entire Founding Fathers, Benjamin Franklin included, especially Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin is the actual article, is what the actual article is about, but in the article, it mentions that all of the Founding Fathers are anomalous, and it made Andrew Jackson into an anomaly. So come on, get on my level. Dr. Sumerian, Dr. Bright. Dr. Clef, Hitler. This is from uh, Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to utilize temporal anomalies in order to travel back in time to kill Hitler, or something along those lines. Um, which is a tale I wrote. Uh, I'll tell you one the in interesting thing is that I, I, the guy that they have labeled as Hitler here is actually dressed the way Dr. Sumerian, the character, is supposed to be normally dressed. So it actually, to me, was like, when I first saw this meme, I was thinking that was <laughs> the way it went. The other half of it is is that uh, Hitler's already dead in the first frame, and then he gets shot in the second frame, which is super weird. You. Uh, Dr. Sumerian's YouTube channel, SCP Illustrated, the Exploring series, but me, an intellectual, <laughs> peanut on uh, anime girl action, I guess? I don't know which channel this is, but it exists. I'm certain of it. Oh, let's zoom in on this one. Hold on. Uh -oh. Maybe they are right. I don't have to destroy half of the universe. Look how beautiful it is. Let me go tell everyone on the internet about an SCP article filled with an unnecessary censorship. Oh well. 
I mean, I get it. I totally get it. Yes, this is... <laughs> oh, man. That's, uh... That is the thing that bothers me more than anything else. Unnecessary censorship. Yeah, that hits the nail on the head right there. Cancer. Dr. Gears. Ah! Call an ambulance! <sighs> but not for me. <laughs> That's gonna get memed immediately, isn't it? Me pointing a gun at the camera. It's just... This is a prop gun. This is not real. Series 1 SCP's gone to shit. Any ideas how to fix it? Yes, uh, you in the back. Uh, try something other than throwing D-Class at it. That's a fucking awful idea. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know the SCP... <laughs> Series 1 started off bad. It didn't... It didn't get bad. It got better. It's the thing. <laughs> Turn into anything. I love the people that are like, that's impossible. The original writers of the first SCPs had to have been doing it right because there weren't any SCPs at the time. So their versions must be the best versions. Except that's like saying the first television that ever existed is the ideal version of a television. <laughs> Can't get any better than cathode ray tubes. Fuck it. Cancer. Oh, you're approaching me. Well, I can't beat the shit out of you without getting closer. We're gonna... <laughs> Ah, uh, man, I, I just, I, I hope that Gears is, uh, yesterday Markiplier did a thing on the SCP copyright uh, situation, which is its own fundraiser, and uh, if they've gotten, like, another extra, they've doubled up and probably gonna triple or quadruple up at the bare minimum by the time that's over, um, but Dr. Gears is still only at 25,000 out of 20,000, and I honest to God think it should at least get it to 50. That's, like, enough money for someone to basically provide for their family for a whole year, and I think that's a good number to aim for, for someone who has to recover from cancer. Me telling the story of how Dr. Bright was executed by jihadists several times and forced to possess the bodies of his comrades. The guy from the store helping me try shoes. Yeah, uh, the old, I, I wanna talk, I would like to tell you about my SCPs. Uh, conversation that people have with their family, friends, and casual acquaintances they just met and who just want to get done with the day because, God, they're getting paid minimum wage and they really don't want to have to listen to your story about some weird thing that you seem to think is real and probably isn't real and, oh my God, this is my life now. I help people with shoes. Yeah, those stories are, are serious. I had a nickel for every time Tufto posted an X-000 about a mysterious lamp-based city that compels people to wander into the unknown to learn more about it. I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> oh, that is true. It is weird that it happened twice. <laughs> Sometimes people like to, if you know, if I had a nickel for every time I wrote about an immortal white dude, I'd have like 20 or 25 cents. So, you know, <laughs> it's just saying that's how some people know... Some people return to old standards when they uh, need to write something. Some bad plot armor. Tanhoni. A 5,000 contestant. Tanhoni. Everyone. It's beautiful. I want to say this. I have I have numerous complaints about that article. Uh, not enough to make me downvote it. I think it's so well written uh, overall that it, it's really hard for me to downvote something that someone's put that much care and work into. Uh, but at the same time, it ends in a way that I really don't like. Uh, the execution at the very end of the article is poor, in my opinion, and I do include all of the hidden text in the image and the hidden text on the page in that. And if you didn't know that that existed, by the way, that exists. <laughs> it doesn't save it from being very unsatisfying. And at the same time, I was thinking about it today when I actually saw this meme the first time around and it just popped into my head. Like, if you want to kill humanity and you're the SCP Foundation, why wouldn't you just, like, not do Montauk, or let the cakes replicate, or any of the other world-ending SCPs? Just let them go. Let it, let that happen. There's the one where the guy who moves his limbs causes an a, a collection of asteroids to come towards Earth. Like, there's so many world-ending SCPs that are just barely kept in check by the SCP Foundation. They don't have to put SCP-096 on social media and kill a couple hundred people that way, <laughs> or not a couple hundred, but a couple hundred thousand people that way, they could, you know, kill everyone all at once very quickly if they really are that disgusted with humanity. Just, just throwing it out there.
I saw this and I don't know where it's from or what it's about. I mean, I know it's about uh, when day breaks, but what I mean is I don't know what the the Danny's sun blocking umbrellas thing is. This new? Is it what? It, I don't know. But the idea of somebody selling umbrellas in a global apocalypse based on the sun coming down is pretty funny to me. We did it, Patrick. We saved the world, and everyone's dead in the process. This is what the Mechanite versus uh, Sarkic war thing. Yeah. Good. Uh, this one, um, I don't know what it's referring to, if it's referring to anything. I just thought it was cute. Silence, Gorman. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of silly shit about this article. Uh, Megalomania again. I, I think the second half of it probably could be, most of the second half of it could be cut or condensed down to almost nothing. And it would still hold up as an article. I think it's the second half that really turns it into something that's maybe... That I could see other people saying is too silly uh, for the SCP Wiki. I don't personally agree with that standpoint. I don't agree with that stance even in the slightest. But I understand where other people might be coming from with it. But, you know, it's, it's this thing. I've been wanting to write an article now. Now I have an, uh, a tale idea in mind. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. But it's just Ruth Bader Ginsburg ain't nothing to fuck with. And... <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to mix the Wu-Tang Clan and powerful wizard Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but it's happening. Sir, can you let me cross no man's land to investigate the German trenches? Yes. Actually dives headfirst into a puddle of mysterious black ooze. Femur time. Stop. Femur time. Every other SCP-5000 writer creates an article with a serious mood, themes, and suspense. DJ Cactus, probably on drugs. He's not on drugs to write this. Like, every time anyone sees something strange or weird, they're like, Oh, this person must have been on drugs to write this. No. Like, you know, it... Sometimes you just come up with ideas that are really outrageous and silly. You don't need to be drunk or high in order to come up with them. That's it. Don't do drugs, kids. Clicking on a link to a different SCP. Level 5, Top Secret, Containment Class, Keter, Disruption Class, Amida, Risk Class, Critical. You know, this is the thing. There's, there's this number of people out there that are, like, irritated at the idea that there are more complex containment classes than just Object Class Keter. And to me, it's like, are you serious? This is what bothers you about this? The Object Class Keter doesn't mean anything. It's never meant anything. You need to be <laughs> really... Really got to, uh, it's just, oh uh, man. One of those things you just got to learn to get over, man. If you give, I've left Keter out of, I mean, left object classes out of my SCPs at this point. So, you know, like, there's multiple solutions to it. Keter doesn't tell you enough information, so maybe you'd leave it out entirely. The SCP Foundation is not the kind of organization that goes, well, you know, we've always done it this way, so we're going to keep doing it that way, even though it might lead to the end of the world. You know, they, they've had dealt, dealt with that kind of situation often enough to know that vestigial organizational things or bureaucracy for bureaucracy's sake is bad. And if there are delays because of it, get rid of it. Another megalomania meme. You know, I, I mentioned earlier what the ratings for it was. It was it was minus thirty, and now it's up to like a hundred and ten. So, you know, less what the hell happened here now? More people have voted on it, I believe, than any other article in the uh, contest, even though it's not the highest rated. Uh, but that's the last meme, apparently. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'd like you to scroll down right now and hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when a new video comes out. Everybody here on the screen here has already done that, I would assume. And they've also headed over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledged at $5 or more. You can pledge at any level you'd like, but if you pledge at $5 or more, before the end of the month, you'll end up in the credits for the videos in the next month, so... Thanks for letting me know I'm not alone out here, and I'll see you all again on Thursday. And hey, Joshua, I'm talking to you. Hit the subscribe button.